Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am super excited about doing these additional bonuses that I'm giving you guys for free by signing up for my free Etsy course. If you have not taken the Etsy course, make sure you do that first. These are gonna be bonuses to show you how to make different digital products that you could start selling on Etsy. But I'd rather you take the, the actual course first so you could understand how Etsy works when selling digital products and from there, decide what type of niche you want to go into. Um, guys, if this is your first time visiting my YouTube channel, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like um, this video and leave a comment below if you have any questions. Now, the first thing I want you guys to do um, is go ahead and sign up for Creative Market. It's a free website. You don't have to pay anything for it. If you have not signed up for Creative Market prior, please use my referral link. I will leave it in the comment section below. Once you sign in, um, I guess the next step is deciding what type of niche you're gonna be doing. What type of digital products are you gonna be selling? Are you gonna be doing stickers? Are you gonna be selling? Are you gonna do like a wedding shop? Are you gonna do like a party shop? Are you gonna do like birthday invites, wedding invites, coloring pages, etc.? Are you gonna do calendars? What are you gonna be selling on Etsy? Once you know kind of like what you're selling, then you could go to Creative Market and buy clip art to start creating your projects and your handmade items. For this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to create a wedding sign. Now keep in mind that once you watch this video, you can modify this video and make what I made as a wedding sign. You could change it into a bridal sign, a birthday sign, a baptism sign, you could do so many different things with it. The same thing, just change the verbatim around. So just keep that in mind. So I don't just recommend Creative Market. I actually buy from Creative Market. Um, as you guys can see, these are all the stuff I have purchased this year as early as October. And I have 18 pages of stuff that I have purchased from them because I absolutely love everything from Creative Market. Now I have made some purchases that I probably should have not bought. Um, and that's just part of buying stuff. You know, you, you fall in love with something, you buy it and then you never use it or it doesn't pin out as, as you thought. So just, you know, make sure that you look around. There's, they have so many options. Don't just settle for the first thing that you see because around the corner will be something even better and nicer. It always happens to me. So these are kind of like all the things I have purchased. For today's video, I'm gonna use I'm gonna be using these beautiful flowers here. And one thing that you want to keep in mind when you purchase from Creative Market, you want to see what is this file compatible with. So this file is compatible with Photoshop. I do everything with Photoshop, and it also has a PNG and JPEG file. So PNG has a clear background. JPEG usually has a white background. Um, when you're using Canva, you want to use the PNG because you want to be able to slap the clip art on any type of coloring. Like if you want to make the background blue or if you want to change um, something in the background, you could just put the clip art right on top of it. So that's a nice feature. So this one is pretty good. You could use it on all three. I personally create all my files on Photoshop and I save them. But I'm going to show you how to use Canva and kind of how to do the same thing, but with Canva. So Canva is free. Um, you can sign up for the pro version, which is $12. I like the pro version because you're able to resize your items quickly versus having to start again a whole new design. And for the purpose of just that, it's worth the $12, especially once you start making a lot of money on Etsy, um, selling you know digital downloads and selling customized downloads, um, you'll see what I mean, the $12 will be worth it. But you could always start with the free one if you don't wanna spend money. You could create folders, and you could have those actual folders right here. These are my folders for like Pinterest, YouTube, Instagram, etc. You could do the same. Um, I have like this one, I have 100 Pinterest you know, files already pre-saved. This one, I got 94. So as you can see, I do use it. This one has 52. I use it for my work, my personal job. So I definitely use Canva and Photoshop combined a lot. Um, so for this video, we're going to be doing a sign 24 by 36. 
And that's like the standard size. Um, I've noticed that a lot of people when they do weddings or they do um, baby showers, etc. That's kind of like the size that everybody purchases for the most part. So that's the size that I want to stick with. And this is the clip bar. I already had it downloaded. So this is the clip bar we're going to be using. When you go in here, um, you have a lot of stuff to choose from. These are, these are some backgrounds that they give you. They're beautiful if you want to use them for um, to create anything. These are all the flowers individually. So they give you so many options. I mean, it's just incredible. Beautiful work. These are additional um, flowers, but they're like in, in pairs. Or combined together which are beautiful this is kind of like one of my favorite ones right here um so these are additional stuff you can add to your projects these are frames that you could use which are beautiful um borders these are amazing borders look at how beautiful in detail they are they're just incredible look at how beautiful so your imagination it just depends on what things you want to do and how creative you actually get these are textures and backgrounds and reefs so for this video i'm going to do a wedding sign i want to do with the background let's see i want to use this one here so i'm going to drag this to canva it's going to upload right here it's uploading once it uploads, um, all I'm going to do is drag it here. Oh, it's right here already. I clicked on it twice. I'm going to make it a little bigger. I'm going to try to like put it in the middle right here. Try to fill up the space a little bit. If not, you could always. I think that's better right there. So then I'm going to duplicate it. And oops. Duplicate. Okay. And then I'm going to turn it. And I'm going to put this on the bottom. So this is a wedding sign that I'm working on. It's similar to the one I did right here. So there goes the wedding sign. I could change the background if I want to. You see? Um, with these, I think the like a blue, or like a dark blue or navy blue looks really nice. And this is just to kind of show you guys all the things you could do. And the nice thing about selling digital products is that you could you could make... 10 designs in with one one design basically i can make 10 different designs this could be one design with white font i can make it black if i wanted to that's another design color this is another design color i could change it to let's say um make sure you know you, you change it to colors that kind of go with what you have but if the customer wants a different color that's fine as well but as you can see i can make different variations of it even the pink one looks pretty. So for this video, I'm going to do the blue one. I'm going to do like a, a navy blue, like right there. So I'm going to choose that color. And then I'm going to do the verbatim. So I'm going to go to text. And what I normally do is I just pick... Oh, that's so small for me. I'm going to do this big one here. Oh, why is it coming out like that? Give me one second. All right, so I'm going to do this one. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. Since it's a big sign, you will have to play with it and see what font size. So let's do um, 200 for now. I probably have to make it smaller. And I'm going to go here and I'm going to pick a nice like cursive font. So I'm going to go to Allura, like Allura. And I'm going to say, welcome to our, welcome to... And then I'm going to put with text box, which means that's not cursive, like regular font on the bottom. This thing is playing with me now. Let's push this down. So this, I'm going to make it a little bigger. I'm going to do, let's say 90. Let's see if it's, yeah, that's better. Welcome to our, our wedding. Let's say I kind of want that. You can make this a little bold if you need to. So it could stand out with the other font. And let's make it um 96. Let's push it up here. What I'm trying to do is make it as big as the welcome to. So I'm gonna do 150 and see if that helps. Oh, that's too big. So as you could as you guys see, you have to play with it and see what's gonna work for you. 
um what you think looks nice so i don't care for the font i think that's what it is so what i'm gonna do is just change fonts and see what works better so you could highlight it and then change the font let's see there you go now it's changing kind of like that one a little bit let's see I like this one because it kind of go it stretches out with the one on the top. Perfect. So then welcome to our wedding. And then I'm going to have, I'm going to duplicate this one so I could just have it already pre-made. And I'm going to put here my name. I'm going to put my name and my husband's name. Nancy. Boom. And I'm going to put another one here. You know what? To be easier, sometimes it's easier to, um, let me delete this. It's easier to duplicate if you're already working with the same font and size. So it's just easier and duplicate and then put it over here. Little things you learn when you use it so much like I do. Welcome to our wedding, Nancy and Cornelius. And obviously you could change the verbatim. This is just something I'm doing for now to kind of show you um, different things. So that could be one way that you could do it. And then you could put, then you could duplicate this here. Put it down here and put the wedding date. So let's say the wedding date is October 20th, 2019. And then I will make this a little bit smaller. Maybe not that small. So then what you would do is you would download this. You go here and you will download it as a JPEG and download it. And you will email that to the customer. You could or and then download it as a PDF and then also email it to the customer. Now, when you're first doing the listing, what you wanna do is create the proof or create like a mock-up. And this is the mock-up basically. You would download this um, file, save it into a mock-up frame, which is something like this, which is this right here. And you could get this in Creative Market. You will put the picture on top of this. And I have a video, I will link it to this video on how to do mock-ups. Um, you will put the picture in the mock-up. You will upload that in your Etsy store. And this will be considered a digital download, but it's actually a custom order, which means that the customer will have to give you their name and their wedding date in order for you to edit. So all they're doing is they buy it. Let's say you sell it for $17. The customer buys it, gives you the information. You come back to your, this is a safe file that you already have saved. You could go here file and save let's say the customer buys it 24 by 36 this is the size you already have you change their name you put their wedding date you save it you you know you email them the file or you could use like a storage like google dropbox and give them the link to download the actual file they download it they print it themselves and you're done let's say you have this file saved but the customer purchased a 8 by 10 if you have the pro version of Canva, all you have to do is go up here, resize, custom dimensions, and then you put eight by 10. And this is the cool thing about it. It resized it for you. Now, because 24 by 36 is like taller and slender and eight by 10 is a little bit more wide, you will have to adjust the flowers. But this is an easy adjustment. As you can see, it took 10 seconds. And there you go. It's so simple. Like you would just have to stretch this out a little bit more. Voila. Maybe make the font a little bit bigger just because it's a little bit wider. So it wouldn't be that much more, but just a little tad bigger. You just play with it a little bit more. And then you will do the same with the names. You will fill in the name, save it, and send it to and send the file to them. But this is how easy it is. It will size it to any size you need. So what I would recommend in the video, if you watch the Etsy course, I always recommend selling different sizes, you know, doing the 24 by 36, 20 by 30, 11 by 14, 18 by 24, et cetera, 8 by 10, 4 by 6, 5. Just do as many sizes as possible because you'll have a, prob a higher probability of them buying from you. But this is how simple it is. And then... This is one design here. You could just tweak, um, tweak this and change the color. Let's say you change the background of the color. Um, that's another design you could sell in your Etsy store. So you could create a whole, you know, robust line 
of this a wedding sign a bridal sign you could do table numbers all using the sign so it's very 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 simple you could change this to um, a baby shower you could say welcome to and you could change this and you could say welcome to nancy and cornelius so let's move this up and you could duplicate here push this down and you could say welcome to nancy's and cornelius bridal shower that's another sign you just created boom see you didn't really do that much change you just you already created two signs for two different industry one is a bridal shower and one is a wedding sign and you could keep changing this welcome to nancy and cornelia's 40th anniversary that could be another sign you see how simple that is you could just change the background you could change the flowers you could literally take these flowers off and say okay i want to create the same sign but i wanted to have a little bit of a different flowers and you go here you kind of look through them and you could say okay let me see which ones would look nice and then you could do whatever you want it's just as it just depends on how creative you get so i uploaded this one i could do this in the corner right here look how beautiful that is and then i could do a duplicate of this right twist it i mean not twist it turn it upside down put it in this corner kind of you could change the background if you wanted to again you could leave it pink and that could be one design you could change you could play around with colors like even this is pretty uh maybe make the letters black like the font black so it could stand out but you could pretty much play with any color you could literally tell the customer um you, i could do literally any color you want because all you have to do is go in here and type in the color or go here and find the color if they give you the code you could do it that way too you could just type in the code and you'll get the exact color so you could technically match their wedding colors to the t all they have to do is send you like an invite with the actual color but look at how beautiful that looks and that's a wedding uh university sign um so you could do this and do a robust line of different stuff and just switch it around and this one set of flowers that has over 100 images you could literally do i don't know like 80 different signs with and then those 80 different signs you could do them each one could be in five different colors so it's very simple to create a digital download store and create multiple items at once you could easily grow one of my biggest store has 10,000 listings and it's because I do stuff like this. So it's very, very simple. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, don't forget to show me some love by liking this video. Check out the other bonus videos that I teach you how to do other things um, that you could sell on XE as digital downloads. Thank you guys for watching.